I too would like to thank uh, Marcia Blackburn, my neighbor uh, to the north in Tennessee, and then also Senator Cruz and Senator Jeff Sessions, who have done tremendous work on behalf of the American people in the United States Senate. I want to emphasize something. We're talking about the so southern border, but an important aspect of that is not just illegal aliens. A more important aspect of that is American citizens. Right now, American families are struggling. They're having a difficult time finding jobs, and when they find jobs, they're having a difficult time finding jobs that provide the kind of income that is necessary to support a family. For many, the American dream is something that they will never be able to reach so long as we continue to have a huge surge of illegal aliens across our southern border. I want to emphasize something right now about the American economy. Remember Jimmy Carter and the economic malaise, the labor participation rate today, that's the number of Americans who are actually pulling the load, doing the work, is at its lowest levels since the 1970s. A big part of that is what's happening in the southern border. There was a report that came out recently that was startling, so startling that I asked my staff to make sure that the data in it was accurate. And we checked with the Bureau of Labor Statistics, we checked with the Census Bureau, we checked with Homeland Security. And here's the data from the Center for Immigration Studies. There were 5.6 million jobs created from the first quarter of 2000 to the first quarter of 2014 over that 14 year period of time in the age bracket 16 to 65, a pretty large age bracket. 5.6 million jobs created by the American economy. You know how many of those jobs went to American born citizens? Minus 127,000. You know what the employment situation is for American born citizens today? Over that 14 year period, because of the lost jobs, coupled with population growth, you now have 17 million more American citizens who are unemployed today than in the year 2000. That's why we have to focus on this southern border. Now, I was elected by American citizens, people who can vote. And while I have compassion for people who want to come to America, particularly those who are lawful immigrants, and there's no nation on earth that is as compassionate as America is, with respect to lawful immigration, my focus has to be on who gets the jobs, illegal aliens or lawful immigrants and American citizens. The Pew Hispanic Center said that there are roughly 8 million jobs in America today held by illegal aliens. Well, I can only speak for myself and perhaps some of the folks who are with me today, but when that choice is made, and the reason that the United States Senate needs to vote on this legislation is to represent American citizens who are struggling in this anemic economy under Barack Obama. And you can help American citizens by removing from the labor pool as many as possible of those illegal aliens who are holding American jobs and preventing even more from crossing the border and coming into America today. So that's what this battle is about. If you want to stop income inequality, then Mr. Harry Reid, you ought to let these bills come up for a vote because that will do more to address income inequality than anything else that this United States Congress can do by decreasing the labor supply, which will force incomes and wages to go up, helping all American families, regardless of ethnicity, regardless of race, regardless of chromosomes. So I stand with these other congressmen and senators and ask, beg Senator Harry Reid to let this legislation to come up for a vote and show that you too represent American citizens. Good afternoon, my name is Pete Olson. 